This is my big shot bear walking target that uh, shot out pretty quick already. And uh, I sent the company because it was peeling. They said that's animal scratches. Well, there's no animal scratches on the legs. Nothing on the top. It just seems to be where, the, and there was a bag behind the other side. But it just appears to be just flaking off. See, just flaking off. So I'm going to try and sand some of that off today, too. See, there's a lot of deterioration up here by the target. So I'm going to see what I could do. But we're going to try it with the Flexit 17. It's a two-to-one mix. So you could use, like, solo cups and just uh, mix it up quick and put it in and it'll rise. Okay, I have some extra foam. You know, once it foams and blows up, you trim it and paint it. Well, this is um, from the last target I repaired with 3D Country. And you can rip up this foam and put it in as fill. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and replace the whole core area. Okay, I put a little Gorilla Glue on this insert. A little top, bottom, maybe the side. Just a little bit, enough to dry. And uh, what happened is now it's nice. It seems like it's like crystallized. So I'm able to put a knife in and I can feel it separating. I just drop in the fillet knife, a strong fillet knife that is. And I'm able to wiggle it and cut through. So I'm gonna take it out and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, that flaking, that I believe is flaking, I'm able to trim it with a bread knife and then I'll sand it later and see how it comes out. Paint everything with some latex black paint later. Okay, I took off some of that flaking. Once I hit it with a sander, I think it's gonna be fine. There's a very big core replacement area here. I'm surprised this core didn't last as long as I thought it would, a few months. Um, but uh, the last four inches is solid. I don't think anything went in. So I'm gonna cut it in half, not in half, I'm gonna cut it in like a third and put that in as an extra fill. Okay, I cut it in half and don't appear that there were any pass-throughs through this. So this here is gonna be a filler in the core. Okay, then I'm gonna put some of the cut 3D foam, country foam in here, wrap it with saran, make the mix and put it in and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make half a batch and pour it in, let it rise. Okay, decided to wrap it up with saran, make a little bigger mix. Okay, I didn't have enough material with that one kit so I ordered another $59 kit and I'll have a little extra. I'll fill this up, you know, rewrap it. I'll pour over here, let it expand, and we'll see what happens. But supposedly this stuff works really good, self-healing, and it's supposed to be a lot better than the original core that comes with these targets. Okay, I got the rest of the foam today. The Flexit 17 and the beauty of it is a two to one mixture so you could get one of these solo cups and you could mark it any ways you want and it's two to ones and usually it expands like three times the size so you could do a little bit and then if it's not enough you could always add on the top it adheres it foams up this is my friend shadow here see shadow Whenever I'm doing something, a videotaping, Shadow comes into the picture. She's my helper, right, Shadow? So anyway, that's it. We're going to go outside. I'm going to fill it up to the line with part B, pour it in, fill it up again, and then I'll show you the video. Me pouring the second cup in and part A and mixing it and doing the target. Okay, I received the extra batch of... Uh, Flex Phone 17, and I'm just shaking these up good before I add them to fill up the uh, existing uh, mold we started. Okay, I cut out holes where I'm going to pour it in so I can get the best fill and it'll expand. And the beauty of this stuff is it's a two to one ratio. 
So all you need is a couple of clear paper cups. And you see I marked it up on the top here. And I says, nah, I want to make a little less. You just draw a line on the bottom, squiggle this out. Okay, so basically it's two to one. And then, so you'll get three times this amount and then it should foam up to really uh, do like an, uh, I don't know how, how much it is exactly it blows up. Maybe three times the, the uh, height of the, the actual uh, liquid. Okay, so we're gonna uh, mix it up. You have your drill ready. Drill ready, have it ready. Put a mixer on it. You can get the mixer in any hardware store. I have a bucket. I'm gonna pour the two parts in first, right? The two parts in. And then at the very end, the single part, <clears throat> I guess uh, might be the resin or whatever you call it, is more liquidy. You pour that in, start mixing and start pouring, okay? And it's okay if you don't make enough, you can add more on top of this stuff. And it's gonna be dense. And after I'm done with it and it expands, I'm going to show you uh, me cutting it and sanding it, and I have a feeling it's going to be a little tough to do, but it's going to last a long time, so it'll be worth it, okay? Okay, I have one cup of part B I poured in here, and as you can see, I have the second part of it in this cup. I'm going to dump it all in. Okay, I'm going to put it out of the way. Now, <clears throat> once we put the part A in, the idea is to uh, mix it up within like 20 seconds and start pouring. So here we go. I have this mixed the best I can and we're going to pour it in the cutout holes I have. The idea is to get it in every spot that you need it. Put it in the big hole here. Always bring some napkins out, wipe it as you can, put it in the holes, okay? And put this out of the way. And what you could do is you could tilt it, lift it, do whatever you got to do to try and get it where you need it to expand, okay? what happens now. Remember, don't get this on your hands. I have paper towels to wipe it off.
Okay, as you see, it's foaming up. It's what I call like erupting. It's filling up out of these holes. Okay. And then once it's all done and set, we're going to get the saws all and trim it. And I'm going to get the disc grinder out. Because this stuff is really tough to uh, sand. And I'm going to try and shape it the best I can. While this is uh, erupting, filling up the pores, fill, filling up the spaces, I'm going to go take a ride to Home Depot or your local hardware, and I'm going to get some latex paint. I'm going to get some black latex paint. I'm going to get some brown for my beard targets. I'm going to get some white to make them look a little more realistic, like white around the eyes and a little bit underneath the neck of the deer. And uh, so that's it. We're going to let this set up. When I come back, we're going to trim it. And then hopefully later today, I'm going to paint it and show you. Okay, it's been a few hours. Came back from Home Depot. I bought some paint and everything I need to paint the target. Going to cut off the saran. We're going to try and trim it and see how it is. Okay, put on a longer blade. stop the tape I'm going to check it out and see what I'm going to do here. I don't know if I'm going to fill it or just cut it down to this. I may just cut it down to this. Okay, now that I trimmed it, I'm going to put a battery in this and just try the disc grinder. See how we do with the disc grinder.
Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm going to touch it up a little more. I'm going to stop the video so I don't waste too much of your time. And then I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll paint it. Okay, the sanding job came out pretty good. I drew a 10 ring. And I'm going to try and see if I can burn it. And it seems to be burning pretty good. This is my Ryobi portable soldering gun. I uh, bought it to use on the boat. So I don't have to worry about running lines in the boat. I used it only once or twice, maybe the most. But it seems to be a really good use for it. Okay, it came out pretty good. I don't think I'm going to draw an 8 ring because it's just for practice for me. It looks good. Okay, it came out pretty good. I'm going to go inside and get the paint. The solder and iron worked out great. I was able to burn a nice 10 ring in there. Okay, just so you know, if you use a disc grinder, I used to be a disc grinder when I was younger in a metal job shop. You go very lightly and use the edge of the sander. Just let it lay on at the edge and let it float over it let the sander do the work never put a lot of pressure just let it gently float over the edge okay i'm going to hit up here real quick and then we're going to go inside get paint and we're going to paint it Flat black latex, flat black latex. After you put it on, okay, what you're going to do is take the brush, make sure you clear out the ring, pen ring, okay, spread it back, okay, empty the brush out when you need it, take another run around, okay, make sure you get on top so it don't run down. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there, and that's the end of the video. I'm going to finish painting it. When it dries, it's going to look awesome. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. You too can fix your pockets. And uh, this core is definitely better than the original material. It's self-sealing. It lasts a lot longer. You won't regret doing it. Next time you have to repair it let's say the 10 rings cut out you just cut a little area that 10 ring area you cut that little area out that's shot instead of the whole thing and replace that hope you enjoyed it
Okay, we're gonna take a shot at the rebuilt target, see how it is. Okay, let's go check it out. Just wanna see how it heals. Okay, let's pull it out. Look at that, self-healed. Healed right up. Healed right up. Okay, this stuff is good. Awesome. Okay, I recommend it. It works good.